Okay, so it's Sunday and this is the last day before I go back to work um, after my week off and I remember having lots of plans. This is kind of typical for me um, when I am uh, setting up time off. I always have a huge list full of plans that could never actually get accomplished and so today I'm gonna try to get a few more of the things on my list accomplished. And um, I didn't get to the other art galleries that I was planning to go to. And that was, a, there was a few reasons for that. I just felt like I needed to focus in on the work that I was doing here and try to get a really good handle on it before um, December uh, because you know, I need to kind of really focus in on December and figure out the plan for the next few weeks um, as the um, stride approaches. So my hair is wet. I just had a shower. I'm going to try to um, get some painting done today. I need to do some samples. And um, I believe I'm going to try to book um, our community room here at our complex for the next two Saturdays so that I can do some serious painting and sewing in there. Um, there's a huge space and I can use the big tables and just get a lot of stuff accomplished that um, I can't really do in this little room. Uh, and also, I've kind of taken it over for the last week, um, but Dave will be back in here working tomorrow. And so I need to get some stuff ready for me to work on this week in the evenings and also just get a handle on um, how things are gonna progress. So the project that I'm working on uh, for the installation for this arts festival happening in January is called Give Me, Give Me Shelter and it's a blanket fort. And um, it's gonna be installed outside and people are gonna be able to go underneath it. And this was kind of my sample that I tried sewing together and I used a French seam. So this is gonna be how I um, sew it together because it's gonna be one layer of fabric and the top part um, is not really gonna be as visible as the underneath part because that's where everyone's gonna be underneath. So underneath people will see this really smooth seam and then on the top they'll just see this neater kind of um, side French seam. So that is my plan but the thing about it is it's huge it's 12 by 12 feet so uh, this little room is not really big enough to cut the fabric effectively or to sew it together so that's why I need big tables big space to sew it together and so I'm going to be doing that next week so I will definitely be um, following you through this whole process of this piece and I will talk to you about it I'll probably make separate videos about this project um, so today what I'm going to be working on is uh, painting. I'm going to do some painting samples on this fabric because my next piece has got a lot of this fabric in it. It's a very shiny iridescent um, wool blend, I think. I think there's some wool in here. Uh, so I need to kind of try out some samples of paint and see the way the paint soaks into this and just kind of figure out what my plan is going to be. And I will also be working on these two projects simultaneously for the next few weeks, along with a few smaller ones for the um, 12 quip quilts project that I'm doing with my son, Elliot. So that's what's happening. Two quilts from the 12 quilts project. Um, Give me shelter, blanket fort, and this piece, which is right now called Dreamboat. Um, and it's also going to be really large, like six feet by four feet, like really large for me. So again, the scale is huge and working on it in this room is a little bit challenging. So, uh, yeah, let's get to work. Yeah. 